Hey guys, what is up? So in this episode, I want to talk about placing yourself in the right room. A really good friend of mine, Jason Gaynard, runs this event called Mastermind Talks. I actually did a video interview with him in my car this summer. Uh, you can go back and check it out. But on one of the workbooks that he gave to everybody in the audience, there's only 100 people in this room. It's invite only and he screens everybody out. He had something like 5,000 applicants and only let, let 100 people in. On this workbook on the front page, it said, if you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. Now, that kind of toes align with some of the things that I've talked about in other videos, like you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with and all that sort of stuff. But it's so, so important to expose yourself to the very best people that you can. Take a look around a room when you're in it next time and take a good look at the people. You're going to know some of them, probably most of them, and ask yourself, am I the smartest person in the room? If you are, you're in the wrong fucking room. Get out of it. There's way better things you can be doing with your time. Even if you go home and read a book or listen to an audio book or a podcast or something, there's something better that you can be doing with your time if you're spending your time around dumb people. And I'm not saying that because I'm an elitist or I'm saying that you know certain people are dumb. I'm not the brightest person, okay? I, I am successful, had a proven traffic, track record of success. A lot of it has to do with, with the peers that I surround myself with. Um, I'll give you a really good example of a, of a room. It wasn't really a room that I put myself in. But about five or six years ago, I got introduced to a guy named Yannick Silver. Um, I don't know if you've heard him, but he runs this event called Maverick Business Adventures, or he did at the time. Um, and I got introduced to him because I'm a car guy. And my coach was talking to me about what I was doing in life and in business and stuff. And he says, you've got to talk to this guy and see what he's up to. So he invites me down to uh, Mexico to attend one of his events. It was about a five-day off-road Baja 1000 kind of race in the desert. And it was a high ticket price item. It was about fifteen or $16,000. It wasn't cheap. But when you throw good money at something and you get exposed to really good people, you're going to have a phenomenal experience. And I really did. Um, we were there for about five or six days, I think. And I got introduced to a guy named Joe Sugarman. Uh, if you don't know who he is, you can look him up. But he's one of the best copywriters that's practically ever lived. So driving through a desert off-road, we got to spend a lot of time with people like this. They were all high-level, high su highly successful entrepreneurs um, you know, in their own category, in their own fields. We, de we developed really, really tight and phenomenal bonds. And to this day, um, some of my closest friends are actually uh, in that you know, peer group of people simply because we, we had five or six days of very close, tight time, no access to cell towers and data and things like that. It was just strictly driving off-road during the day, communicating on these headsets, and then at nighttime, just bonding together as you know, people, as entrepreneurs. Um, you know, an interesting thing about categories of entrepreneurs is generally speaking, if somebody comes up to me and says, hey, how's it going? I'll be like, it's okay. Average Joe would ask me something like that. If one of my close friends that's an entrepreneur comes up to me and says, hey, how's it going, man? And there's something going on in my life or my business, I'm gonna pour myself out to him because he understands and he gets me. I always try to surround myself with the highest caliber of people possible. Take a look at those in your life. And it, and it has to do with business, friendships, and even women, guys. And I've started to talk about this. Take a look at these people and, and who is in the room while you're there. If they're talking about petty little tiny things that are insignificant and are insurmountable that have no bearing on the world, um, consider what room you're sitting in, my friends. That's the video for today. Thanks for checking this out. Throw a comment below and let me know what you think of it and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. First video you've seen, hit the subscribe button. Thanks a lot, guys. Have an awesome day.